Well, for the first time since the pandemic began, Kansas welcomes back fans to Allen Fieldhouse today, but not the usual 16,300. Instead, it's 2,500. So how will that affect perhaps the best home court advantage of the nation? And they get a big test. Number five, Kansas taking on number eight, Creighton. It's a homecoming for him. He has the ball in his hands here, gives it up to Bishop, but Balak went to high school 10 miles away from Allen Fieldhouse in Eudora, Kansas. And the Creighton turnover. Here comes Christian Brown. Gives it up in the drive in the lane by Jalen Wilson. Against Kansas, they love to get out in the open floor. You cannot have live ball turnovers. And there, Marcus Zigarowski leaving his feet to pass. A huge no-no for Creighton. He's a very versatile piece as well. Kind of a, there's that Jalen Wilson role for Creighton. Catch and shoot. Bow out. Got it. Well, he hasn't shot it great on the season percentage-wise, but you knew it was just a matter of time, Mark. And that's a great look and a terrific pass from Marcus Zikorowski and David McCormick going right through his chest. Catch and shoot three. Jalen Wilson. For yourself, it's being an elite defensive player. There's a lot more that Denzel Mahoney can give to Greg McDermott. A steal by Brown. Kansas just two for their last 12 from the field, but an easy lay in there for Dewan Harris. We started with such shot making. Both teams getting it done from three early, and now a little ragtag out here. McCormick able to get around Kalkbrenner for the step. That's just Ryan Kalkbrenner. Welcome to major college basketball. David McCormick has really had his struggles. Bill Self thought he might lead the team in scoring. Zagorowski will save it and bring it up. Bill Self is going to live with that look. He, he wants Christian Brown to be aggressive. And right there, Brown looking for his offense. Doesn't go down. But he wants to see him take more of those perimeter shots. Wilson, blocking foul. is going to go against Mahoney. got to stop fading away he just keeps fading away from the rim and it's for no reason Christian bitch seven Kansas Wilson in transition for KU love the fact that Kansas is willing to, to just advance the basketball and right there Ochai Apaji made the right play Kansas trying to switch these screens and a little miscommunication allows Jefferson to get to the rim McCormick Balak able to play the defense to steal it, and Jefferson back the other way once again, and Creighton takes a two-point lead. That's a one, that's a... Brown! Antoine Jones got absolutely lost on that possession. Christian Brown, they, they really need his scoring. They've been super balanced, but when it's winning time at the end of the game, you have to think it's going to be time for Marcus Zigorowski to go to work. Bishop trying to go to work, kicks it to Mahoney. That is a phenomenal pass by Christian Bishop. We talked about the defense. We talked about the scoring. Christian Brown can't get it to fall. McCormick keeps it alive. And Garrett pulls it back out for Thompson, his 15-footer. Actually, how about that? Marcus Zigorowski with a great pass, and again, Creighton cuts it to two. They trap Thompson, knock it away. Mahoney for the tie. Got it. 70 all with just over a minute to go. What a defensive effort by the Creighton Blue Jays, and the way they got out, hard heads that ball screen. Boy, the hard hedge has really impacted these Kansas ball handlers. You can see Marcus Garrett getting taken to half court. Now Bryce Thompson. Wilson a three, and a huge three for Kansas. What a big time play. Up the deep down court. And Kansas survives it. And Zagorowski missed the third that would have tied the game.